Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Dr. Bronner's Lavender Soap. So let's cue the music and get into our review. Hello my friends, it's good to see you again. This is Natural Soap Man as always. Guys, as I said before this week, we're taking a closer look at Dr. Bronner's uh, Lavender Soap. Now, it's actually been quite some time since we reviewed one of Dr. Bronner's soaps. I think the last one we reviewed was the tea tree. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at our soap and our packaging. As you can tell, Dr. Bronner's features this paper packaging, right? That's very tight, uh, compact, right? It fits perfectly snugly on the soap itself. And there's a bunch of messages, have ingredients, like a lot of word, a lot of text. I really like the style. There's something um, old school about it, right? Something uh, genuine, authentic. I guess one could argue that there's a little too much text, right? However, I still think it fits the vibe, it fits the theme overall that Dr. Bronner is going. So I think it fits. Now looking at the soap itself, I believe this is a triple milled soap. So if you, cause if you notice at the color or the opacity of it, it doesn't have that traditional all natural cold process soap style that you see with a lot of other soaps. Like there's almost um, like this um, commercial look to it. Uh, but other than that, I don't see any colors or anything like that. But overall, the soap has a very simplistic, very straightforward appeal. All right, my friends, I wanna go ahead and talk a little bit about the ingredients here. Go ahead and post them on the screen for you. We don't have very many ingredients. We have some really neat ones to talk about. All the ingredients are organic. We have a lot of different fatty oils, right? We also have lavender and also lavender extract. Now, lavender, I don't know, understand necessarily the, the, the negative talk around lavender. Like it's always spoke like an offshoot sort of way, uh, as if it's like a poor man's version of lavender. I personally always like the way lavender smells. I don't I guess fully understand. Um, but like I said, I always liked it. Now, uh, there are no artificial fragrances, uh, colorants, or anything that's added to the soap. This is. Um, this is kind of what Dr. Bronner's is known for, having fully organic ingredients that are safe for you to use. It's also really one of the big reasons why so many people really love using Dr. Bronner's products. Talking a little bit on how the lavender smells. If you're not familiar with Dr. Bronner's soaps, all of their soaps are very straightforward, uh, simplistic, sort of straight to the point kind of thing. And what I mean by that is like uh, their tea tree soap smells like tea tree. Their peppermint smells like peppermint. Like, or in this case, the lavender smells like lavender. Right? It's very straightforward, they're not complex. And when it comes to reviewing the soaps, it actually makes my job pretty easy here, right? So the, the question is, do you like lavender? This is a very beautiful, eloquent, gentle smell, right? Uh, lavender is incredibly popular. It's one of the most widely used scents in the world because how diverse, how beautiful, how amazing it smells. Personally, this is my favorite one by Dr. Bronner's. I just love the way this so smells. I just think it smells just so beautiful. And uh, lavender in general just smells amazing to me. Now surprisingly, I know the soap may appear to be subtle and the way I'm describing it might sound subtle, right? But that doesn't, that's actually not the case here. The lavender is actually pretty strong by these guys. It's nothing obnoxious or anything like that, but it's, it's definitely not hard to smell it for sure. <music>
just saw the lather for our lavender. And I do want to point out uh, that Dr. Bronner soaps have a really nice lather. That could be from all the different oils they use, but the lathers for these soaps really stand out. So I do want to point that out. I really like the aesthetic of the soap. It has that really old school, genuine, authentic vibe with it. I love the smell. I thought, I think the lavender soap by these guys uh, smells amazing. Of all the soaps I smell by Dr. Bronner, this is probably my personal favorite one. All the ingredients are organic and natural. There's nothing really to speak on. There's no negative, anything like that. That's actually one of the reasons why so many people really like Dr. Bronner's. And the soap's gonna come in a really good size. It comes about five ounces. Now, depending where you get it from, that price could vary, right? Uh, but mine typically cost me a little bit under $5. Right, so it's got a really good price value too. And another really cool benefit for Dr. Bronner's is something we gotta talk about is the accessibility of it. You can literally get these soaps anywhere by Dr. Bronner's, you can get on Amazon, their website, literally any and every organic store that happens to sell soaps. I promise you nine out of 10 times they're gonna sell Dr. Bronner's, they're that big. And there's a reason why, these soaps are legit. Now, if there's one thing I'm gonna nitpick here on the soap is that I know it's like when I've used it, um, it wasn't as moisturizing as some of the other soaps I've used on the channel. It was something I, I sort of kind of stood out to me. Now, I don't think it's atrocious or anything like that. I just think it's worth pointing out. I don't think this soap is as moisturizing as other soaps. Now, when it comes to actually recommending the soap or not, I think this is an easy recommendation. It's a try true classic. I think the only thing that maybe you give some pause on is really the scent. If, you, if you're looking for maybe something a little more masculine or something a little more complex, you like some, uh, you know, I don't know, something a little more crazy, like maybe some from Suzy Bear or something like that. You you don't get these with these soaps, right? These are all very straightforward uh, smelling soaps. And, but if now if that's something that speaks to you, then I think this is absolutely slam dunk. These are really good soaps, good value, uh, good size, accessibility, right? Try True Company, right? That's been around for a long time. It's easy go. It's an easy sort of no brainer kind of thing, or it's at least a soap where. If you're waiting for your shipment for another dark watch, you know, or something like that, this is a great soap to go pick up real quick and kind of use in the meantime, right? They're very versatile, so you can use them for a lot of different purposes. Now, if you're a little more curious about Dr. Brahms, I did, I do have another review about these guys, they're tea tree soap. So if you want to go check that review out, I'll leave that in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out. But either way, guys, y'all stay safe and stay natural. Mm -hmm.